Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. The political changes that might cause changes in the law uh, from what we can say so far that the, this process, which has been accelerated, looks to be uh, done in a way so that it's going to be completed before any decisions like that are made. And therefore, most likely this program is going to be safe for the next three years at least, or three, three years plus, um, presuming that there are contracts put in place that will um, cover that period of time. So those that want to get involved, uh, I don't think should necessarily you know, not uh, go forward just because of those kinds of reasons. Um, so it, 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 what we'll talk about today uh, are these developments and kind of give, again, an overview of how to become an ACO, what an ACO has to do, uh, and then take your questions at the end uh, of our discussion. Hopefully you have in front of you our uh, handouts, and we'll try to follow those handouts and actually identify any uh, changes or, or uh, information that might not be on them. Moving on to slide two, uh, just to give a little more background on, on our, us and our firm, um, uh, beyond uh, what you already heard, we, uh, we do focus uh, uh, exclusively in healthcare uh, regulatory and, and business law, and all of those, that background comes into play in trying to understand what it, need, it means to be uh, an accountable care organization, how to put them together, uh, and, and how to uh, apply. Um, uh, because really when you're, when you're looking at this, there's not only requirements that have to be met to, to, to even get started, there are also requirements that are going to be interpreted by CMS when they look at applications, and often there needs to be a kind of a legal understanding of, of what those pr provisions mean and, and then being able to communicate that with, uh, with the department. So it's really a kind of a, at least a two-level understanding of the law uh, which is, you know, how do you have to organize yourself and operate to be compliant, and then how are you going to communicate your compliance in a way that's consistent with the law and the rule to, to CMS. Um, moving on to slide three, uh, it gives a little more on our, our, our agenda for today. Uh, we're uh, going to talk uh, just very briefly about uh, the fundamentals of the ACO, uh, Accountable Care Organization. What is the what did the statute say, and then moving on to what the what what um, uh, more information is provided, more details that are provided by ultimately the final rule, um, uh, and uh, the fact of how it has made things a little easier for those that want to be involved or even want to want to form an ACO. We'll talk a bit about the application process because, uh, as I've already alluded to, it, it is upon us. And, and uh, those that are interested in it need to, you know, need to move on it, and you need to get an idea of what, what's you know, in store for you if you're not already familiar with it. We'll talk a bit about um, this pioneer process, uh, and, and specifically, what were some of the factors that helped the uh, CMS decide uh, which of the applicants were going to be these pioneers, which are are those that are kind of seem to be uh, entities that seem to be kind of further along in the process. They're not new. They have a lot of experience and may be uh, very much able to step right in in terms of acting in this capacity as ACOs, and and kind of understanding how those factors might be uh, uh, apropos to someone who's now just going to go for basic ACO status, not a pioneer, but you know going for for um, uh, the, the the basic uh, uh, category, the basic label. We'll talk uh, uh, kind of uh, along those lines of giving those hints of of what applicants might be want to do, and also kind of thinking about from a um, a startup position. You know, what are the things you're going to have to have in place, and even if you're beyond just startup, the the, the issues that you may be facing. Um, you know, uh, or, or if you're going to be joining an ACO that's already in formation, uh, some of the issues may, you may face as well. So that's our uh, very lengthy agenda. We're going to try to get into it right this moment. Uh, starting on slide. Supercoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866 
828-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial.